Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so welcome to week three of Low Spin November. And this is where um, I am just using what I have from my freezer and pantry, um, trying to limit my visits to the grocery store and preparation for uh, buying Christmas gifts and things like that. So in my freezer, I had this um, beef soup bone meat here. And so it's about almost three pounds. I'm gonna clean it up, put it in my crock pot because I wanna make some beef and noodles for dinner tonight. So on top of that beef, I'm just gonna sprinkle one packet of the um, onion soup mix and then a stick, of, a stick of butter. I'm gonna cook it low and slow all day. And then I'm gonna put in some, I'm gonna take the meat off the bone and put in some um, cooked dumplings or egg noodles into that crock pot. So I have made this before, but it's been a couple of years ago. Um, but we really enjoyed it when I made it last time. Okay, so here it is in the crock pot and I am getting ready to turn it on low and just let this go all day long. Hey guys, so it's been about 10 hours, I pulled all the bones out, gonna shred the meat in a little bit. Here are some scraps. Howard uh, has already eaten some of the bones, but that's like fat and stuff that's left. So I'm gonna cook up these noodles and then add them to the beef. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I ended up making three cups of dry egg noodles and then I just added them to the crock pot and they, um, the, this is very tasty. Perfect for a cool day here in Texas. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I dug in our freezer and I grabbed these chicken thighs with peppery Texas style marinade. Howard is going to throw these on the grill. I got it from Tom Thumb on clearance. It was half off of that 828 and it's there's about a pound and a half of uh, chicken in here. Not sure how many pieces, but this is the start of our dinner tonight. Okay, so here is the chicken that Howard grilled. We are having some leftover sauteed green beans and some mac and cheese that it was uh, in my freezer from Trader Joe's. We really like this mac and cheese. Um, one container has two servings, so Howard and I split this. Harrison doesn't eat it, so um, as you can see there, it's a pretty decent sized serving of mac and cheese, like one cup. There are two cups in here. A serving size is one cup. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a frozen pizza. It is H-E-B Rising Crust Supreme Pizza, pepperoni, black olives, red pepper, onions, green pepper, and Italian sausage. And of course, this was in our freezer. And so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, using up a lot of stuff that was in my freezer. So I have this box of spring shrimp rolls that as you can see, I got on clearance, couldn't pass that up. So I'm actually gonna deep fry the spring rolls. I've got some mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's, chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's. Really like it a lot. It does have peas, so we're gonna pull those out before we um, cook broccoli. it. Broccoli, yes, that's Harrison. And then I have some fresh broccoli that I chopped up and uh, I'm gonna stir fry that. So I'm just gonna prepare everything according to the package directions. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up and um, the um, shrimp spring rolls came with dipping sauce as well. It came with two packets of dipping sauce, so um, we're gonna use that as needed. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard made some ribs that we had in my freezer. He used a bunch of different types of spices on the ribs, and then for the barbecue sauce, he used this. Uh, 
Kinder's mild barbecue sauce is kind of sweet. And then on the side, we are having some corn because I didn't feel like making anything green. And we are having just some regular old Kraft macaroni and cheese. And of course, that is Harrison in the background reading a book. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time.